Hello and welcome back to Custom Diecast Models. And today we are going to be packaging up this Kyle Busch 2020 Sport Clips Haircuts Toyota Camry. So I went on the internet and I found a checkered, like a checkered flag thing image and then I just printed it. And then on the back I made a um, headline thing and all, like, for what the car is, so it says Kyle Busch, number 18, Sport Clips, Haircuts, 2020 Camry, limited edition, and then I have this, my, the date that I started it, and the date that I finished it, so I have March 17th, 2021, that's the day, date that I started it, and then the date that I finished it, I finished it on April 7th, because, like, you know, life got busy in between. So, I mean, usually, if I, it depends on how lo how much I work on the cars. But if I work on them more frequently, then I'd say that I would get them done within, like, I don't know, a week or a week and a half. But it all depends. It all depends on what goes on and all. So, I got this ready to put the car in i have the back the back now it the back does fit very nicely so what i did was I, like i took the piece of paper i put this down and i traced around the thing on the paper and then i just cut it out and then and when i put it on i am going to use uh, well, I'm going to use this glue, and I'm going to put it around this cardboard part, or the, yeah, cardboard, and then I'll just, like, after I put everything in, and then I'll just put this backing on, get it exactly where I want it, like, flip it around, get it exactly where I want it to be, and then that'll dry overnight. And then that'll be all set to display. So, let's get started on that. First, we're gonna get the car in. And the hood. So yeah, it'll look real nice with that all put back together. Was all up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now the glue wasn't coming out through the nozzle thing, so I'll just open it up and stick this toothpick in. Once I get it working here. Set that there. Get the glue. Uh -oh. Now I'll we'll just put it around like this. Pretty simple process. Okay, I need to hold the glue up. Just grab it like this. I need a paper plate here. Let me get a new toothpick. I got that. So we'll just continue spreading this around. This is the first time I've done this, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm hoping it'll turn out nice. And, like, we won't have any problems and all. But. I don't know. 
I just have to hope for the best. Sorry guys if I guess I went out of frame there. I wasn't paying attention. So we do we got this all here. I'm probably gonna bring out a frame again real quick just so I can get this all ready and all. And you just press around it. Like so. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this after this video. Alright, we'll just leave this like this. We got this all. Let's clean this back up a little bit. And then I will just put like a I'll probably just put like a piece of tape here to just make sure that nothing gets under there. So, let that dry. And then that'll just be ready for display. Alright, now another thing that I'm working is I'm getting this car all prepped up and ready for painting. And what I use is I use these sanitizing alcohol wipes, like after I strip it and all, and use like the liquid rubbing alcohol on it. I just take these wipes and just do a nice little scrub all over the car just to make sure that all the paint stripper is off. Because on my first car that I did, which is right over here. I don't know if I just went out of focus there. But with this first car, if you look, you'll see it in the diecast review. That's coming soon. Um, I didn't do the, like, the wipes and all. And it got bubbled. So I decided to strip it down again. And... Uh, like, because there was, like, bubbles everywhere. So I just decided to strip it down again, start over again. And then I resprayed it after I used the wipes and all. And then it did it again. But it didn't do it as bad. So I was just like, well, it's my first car. I'll just stick with it for now. So I've learned from that. My car, my spray painting, uh, my, well, my spray painting is getting better. So, that's, that's good. And then, so yeah, I just wipe around all these, well, I, I scrub it with the wipe. And then, I always make sure to get in these, like, crevices, if you call them that. And then I always just, cha I always change wipes after a little bit, like I get a new wipe. Because the paint stripper gets on that, on the wipe then. And then it's kind of, if you keep using the same wipe, you're kind of like, it's kind of like you're rubbing the paint stripper back on to the car. And then that doesn't help any. So, I just use different wipes. I'd say I go around the car once, and then I switch wipes, or like I get a new wipe, and then sometimes like I'll press harder, 
in some like in some of like the crevices like up here with the roof lines I just used my nails with the with the not glove with the wipe just to get it and make sure there's no more paint stripper up there so that there won't be any bubbles up there whenever I go and paint it So yeah, and it also gives it like a shine to it. So I usually go on with this for about 10, 15 minutes. So. Yeah, always make sure that you get, like, down here. Kind of like where the jack goes. But, like, above it's got that, like, that line. Always make sure you get down there. Because if you don't get down there good enough, then bubbles get... Then bubbles form down there. So... Oh. Yeah, I got time. Funny story. Um, I spray paint my cars outside... And I was making this car. So I was just spray painting. And then I was um, playing some basketball in between coats. So, I, I, so on my second coat, I came up. I, came, I walked up to the car. And there was a spider. Just camping out. It had a spider web all around the whole car. All all around the, all the windshields. And then around the bottom. And I was just like. Really? So then I ended up chasing the spider all the way around the car. Trying to get it. Like chasing it like with my hand. Trying to get it. So that I, I didn't make the uh, spider yellow. So. But. I managed to get him off. And then, like I said, well, I did end up spray painting the his web because I didn't want to like mess up the paint and all. Because the spider it was the spider was like hanging from down here, so I got the spider and then I got the web and all. I got the web after it, the paint completely dried. So. I mean, it didn't cause a difference. So, as you can see, I'm going to continue working at wiping this car down. And thanks for watching. I'll show you all how the uh, Sport Clips car turned out with the packaging up. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.